Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. So I'm going to show you a very quick video how to break up your blog post into one into more than one page. Now, I don't typically recommend this if you've got a long post. I, I think the long posts generally perform pretty well for search engine optimization and that sort of thing. And it's not something I really do, but every now and then it's it's a good idea if you've got a really long post, maybe you're talking 10,000 words or more, or for whatever reason, you just want to break it up. So this is just one of my posts. I'm not going to save this and make it permanent, but use it as a bit of a demonstration. Let's say for some reason I have this post and I just think I don't want it on one page, I want to break it up. So I'm going to show you for an example, I'm going to treat it as if we want to watch, we want to read this post and after the video have the rest of the information on a second page. So this is just a preview at the moment, but I've got the page open here in the WordPress editor. Now in order to do this, all we need to do is simply click, press enter, and there's two ways you can do this. One is you can actually use a keyboard shortcut. So I can hold down Alt, Shift, and P, and I insert a page break, because there's no button at the top here for a page break. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview this change. You see now, after the video, we've got pages one, pages two. So now I simply go to page two, and you'll see it continues on from there. And of course, down the bottom, we can go back to page one. So if you want to break up maybe a list post into several pages or whatever, for whatever reason you want to do that, you can do that quite easily with a page break. Now, I'll show you another method. Obviously, sometimes I find that uh, the old keyboard shortcuts such as Alt, Shift, and P for this won't work. So what I can, can show you is to simply delete this, delete. And if you can't actually use the keyboard shortcut, I'm actually going to get you to press this, the Insert Read More tab. Um, tag. So I'm going to click here and insert read more. So it's actually more. This will not break it up into another page. If I go over to my text tab at the top here, I can find where I've inserted that more tag right here. And where it says more, I'm just going to highlight that and change it to next page. Preferably not in caps. Just like that. And now I'm going to preview that change again. You find we still have our little page break there. So that's basically it, just a little tag here that says next page. And then once I remove that again, preview, let it reload. And we're back to normal. So that's pretty much it. You want to be in your, in your text editor, you just want to have a little area that says, has that next page tab, which I'll, uh, tag, which I'll put up on the screen in case you just want to type it out. Um, but basically, as long as you put that wherever you want, it'll start to break things in the pages. You can do that more than once. So um, nice and easy little video for you today to show you how to do that. And I uh, hope you found that useful. All right, thanks. See you next time.